Very nice, that, very nice. Some good old guitar noodling. Indeed. <laughs> well, my name is Mike. This and I'm is Jason. Jason. I'm glad you remember your name this time around. <laughs> I did remember my name this time around. Do you remember where we are? We're in Marshall Music Woodmead, aren't we? Yes, we are indeed. You do work here, right? I do work here, yeah. Yeah, not fired. <laughs> not fired, still here, glad to be here. God does a good job. You guys should come and check him out. Um, and check out these Duesenbergs, fantastic instruments from a company based in Hanover in Germany. Um, very interesting aesthetic. It's a lot of people, it's either a love it or a hate it kind of thing, AJ. Eh, it is. Yeah, they do certainly have some unique aesthetics. I remember this one particularly finding some um, fans and some not fans. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'd Facebook in a recent post that was uh, shared on Gregory's Garage, right? You either love it or you hate it. <laughs> so this is a Starflare TV. This is their most popular model by, by far. Um, but this is a, a, a limited model, it's called the Ice Pearl, so it's got this whole sort of mother of toilet seat thing going on. <laughs> These are actually individually <laughs> inlaid pieces of uh, like tiles of mother of pearl, which is amazing. But the finish is rather smooth, like from a distance it looks like actual tiles. Yeah, it's actually, actually butter smooth. Check out yeah. the back of these things. Um, flame maple over there. Don't know if you're catching that, Mr. Cameraman. So beautiful flame maple back. Some people would say, why isn't the back the front of the thing? I don't know, but the front's <laughs> certainly eye-catching. I think on a stage, especially, this is really gonna, gonna stand out. So it's for somebody who's just looking for something that's, that's really gonna stand out and be, flashy, be particularly very amazing. Flashy, yeah. It's one we got over here, actually. That's a blue sparkle. That's a normal star player TV. It's the, the normal, more normal sort of model. Mm -hmm. um, identical in every way, just a, a, a less crazy finish and actually, from playing this very guitar after yeah. i saw all of the social media con controversy i was like wow i gotta play this thing i played it and it's like holy crap this is right. amazing i gotta get one so yeah i bought that one <laughs> so, <laughs> instead <laughs> instead but mostly because of the price because this one this one is is quite expensive but um again because of its limited nature i mean a guitar like this in the uk has set you back nearly four thousand pounds but in south african terms it's what how much is it on our site like 60 grand 60k yeah right about Holy crap, you, sh you should buy it here and go and sell it in the UK. That's, that's pretty good value. But Duesenberg in general in South Africa is actually pretty competitive with, with UK and, and German prices. So mm -hmm. that's fantastic. Let's look at some of the, the, the features of Duesenbergs. Now, the whole Art Deco design, you check out the headstocks on these. It's got this like step design going on and they carry that through to every part of the guitar. So for instance, on the machine heads, you can catch them from the side. They've actually got this step design going on again. If we move over to the um, truss rod cover, it kind of looks like an Art Deco building with this like step design as well. Even the switch tips over here, the, the tip of the um, the tremolo arm, the knobs, the end of the pickguard logo, everything's got this like three step design. It's just like an, a, cra a crazy level of attention to detail on these. And I got to say, these are some of the best made guitars that I've, that I've ever found. I don't know what you think about them. I could them. say the same. They are fantastic. The setup out of the, out of the box is incredible. I mean, they, they pleck these as well, so the, the frets are perfectly level. Um, level of, of, of finishing is just, wow. Um, I, I'm gushing a little bit because I like mine quite a bit. Um, but yeah, um, maybe let's also talk about the pickups. The, the pickup combination of both of these guitars is actually more or less the same. That's, that's the interesting thing. Those are just Despite their looks, yeah. Different style of, style of cover. That's the Grand Majesto model, right? That's right. So pickups on these, Grand Vintage Humbucker over here, sort of a PAF style humbucker, and then we've got the Domino P90, which is a single coil. So on the, the switch positions, we're just playing through a pre-Gibson Mesa Fulmore, which is like a, a deluxe <laughs> reverb and a wavy saucy box, which is basically a, um, a con clone. So yeah. it makes sounds. So Let's hear it. Bridge Humbucker. <laughs> Then both together actually brings in a couple of uh, extra capacitors in the circuit to actually um, filter out some of the low end. So it sounds a little bit more, ah, sorry, single coil like.
And we go to the neck uh, Domino P90. It's the twang. <laughs> yeah. I love the sounds in these things. It's, it's, this is actually a um, spruce top. It's a center block, like a 335 style, but you know, almost like a Les Paul style body. Fully hollow this side and this side, and then the center block. So therefore, semi-hollow, right? Yeah. Um, solid, uh, well, it's uh, the laminated spruce top, like a 335, and then as we said, the flame maple back and sides, maple neck, um, 25 and a half inch scale as well. So like a Fender-like scale, brings a little bit more snap into the, into the tone overall. That it does. And this vibrato is just ridiculously good. Um, I think it's the best sort of Bigsby style vibrato on the market. Stays in tune fantastically. It's so smooth as well. You get quite aggressive with that. You really can, but you can also just be very subtle with it. And it stays and you can't, in tune. You can't do any of that with a Bigsby. <laughs> just get a say. You can actually dive bob with this thing. It's, it, it's, so let's look at the switch positions on that Grand Magisto. It's this grand, one is it's pretty majestic. interesting because we both thought this was just your normal uh, P90 style sounding pickups. Yeah, I did. I mean, like, looking yeah. at the pickup covers, but what's under there? But yeah, let's hear it. That's in the bridge position. Humbucker. Now we're going to go to the second position. The third position. That sounds like both together with a low pass filter. And this should be this guy. Very cool. Very cool. So it's actually the same pickup combination as in the Starflare CV. It's just under different covers, different style of body. I really dig the, the clear pick guard there over the F hole. Yes. Very cool. And that, that just looks like, I don't know, a switch <laughs> from like a German railway yeah. or something. Like, <laughs> I was going to say. switch the tracks. <laughs> you know, that's kind of the vibe I get from that. But I must say, even these switches on this thing, it's just, yeah. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that it's is. It's like a machine. The most solid thing I've ever encountered in terms of switches. It's very German. Let's look at some more German guitars. Let's go for it. We're back. And we're back. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got there, man? I have no idea. It's a caribou. That's <laughs> what caribou. it is. That's a Duesenberg caribou. Same pickup combination again, but a smaller offset body. It gives it a bit more of a mid-range sort of tonality because of the less space going on. Flat top as well. Very cool sparkly finish there you got there, mate. I don't know how well we can see that. <laughs> so again, same pickup, same hardware, same incredible vibrato system. A lot of uh, boutique makers actually use the Duesenberg vibrato system on their guitars because it's way better than a, than a Bigsby. Stays in tune fantastically. Make some sounds. Well, I did turn this uh, Tube Screamer up a little bit more for this Ooh. guitar. Buttery smooth, eh? Buttery smooth. So yeah, these guitars are fantastic. They sound great. I just wanted to do that, sorry. <laughs> this is my one. I really love it. Absolutely yeah. in love with it. Still in the honeymoon phase, of course. I mean, mm -hmm. the messy divorce is still coming later on. <laughs> I doubt it. I think she's a keeper. But um, fantastic guitars. The cases they come with are the coolest cases I've seen in uh, yeah. pretty much out I of really anything. something special with their they, cases. They are fantastic. So the, the whole package is, is wonderful. I'd encourage you guys, come to Marshall Music, check them out if you're in, in Joburg. If you're in Cape Town, go to Music Experience, check them out there. It's a fantastic variety of these guitars on our online store as well that you can, you can purchase should you so wish. But if you're not a Duesenberg believer, if you're a hater, you owe it to yourself to try them out. They are that good. What do you think, Jason? Final words? 
I love Duesenberg guitars. Come try them out. You'll change your mind. Yes, you will. See you guys. <laughs>